Hi traders, sounds like a simple question doesn't it, what is trading? But I'm going to be answering that question in the room, so for all the full members uh, I'll go through that with you. Uh, for those of you who are full members and not in the trading room, I am going to go through that at the next traders round table. Critical question, uh, answer that correctly and you will be a much better trader for it and uh, when we discuss the answer to that you'll see what I mean. Uh, I've been talking about uh, changes to membership uh, by the way that the in the in the short to medium term the cost of membership is not going to change uh, so what current changes I've got up coming up for you are I'm going to journal all the trades in the room and the video calls I started doing this in the first few months of last year and got lazy about it, so I'm going to make sure I don't, don't fall into that trap again. Um, I had some feedback from one or two of you asking for me to mark up the entries when I'm producing a video, uh, and, and even in the room when, when we're taking trades, so that's something that I would do. We'll be, uh, I'm, I'm doing a lot of um, promotion work now just to get the members not because I want the uh, Trade Easy Way to be a, you know, a, a huge organisation, I just want it to be more vibrant. So we're going to get an injection of new blood to uh, really boost the, the quality of the room and the quality of the interaction in the Traders Round Table. Um, next Traders Round Table I will be launching the um, checklist I've been talking about and distributing that to full members. I'm uh, going to go through the new and simpler trade set up for the room for Forex uh, and of course the Forex course is going to go into intimate details about uh, how to set that up, how to um, what the rules are, the routine for, tr for tracking this setup uh, and for all of you members we've got, uh, I've got some booster webinar, free booster webinars coming up going to go over the current best setups, going to look at uh, pattern recognition, a pro trader routines and rules, and there'll be others that will uh, follow as well. So that's the changes. Right, onto the charts now. Right, big big day on the markets. Great start to 2012. We gapped up in the Dow futures market, and um, stochastics is high, so it is something of a reversal bar. Uh, however, I do think this will. Um, move up. I think if we break 12,430 I think this will continue to the upside. Uh, if we get a pullback to 12,250 I will be a buyer. If you want to swing trade it you could put an order in the book for there. No idea if you're going to get filled. Uh, you're going to need a stop below 12,000 and about 70 to see if that can continue. The, RS, the, the stochastics and the RSI are high so be warned. Let's look at oil. Very strong day in oil. Uh, pull back now to 101. Would be great. We have we're just under a lot of resistance there, so I wouldn't swing trade it. Uh, stochastics is high. Pound had a big day. This pound's a tough one. Look, we've had a similar situation here where we moved right into the 50 EMA. For some reason I've lost that. Let me just. Uh, the same's happened today. We've moved right into the 50 EMA. Trend lines running across the top. The triple bottom on the back of this hammer. Uh, I would suggest you could swing trade this. If you bought, put an order in the book for 155.82, stop's going to have to be 54.76. You've just got to bear in mind that we have been here before. We've been bumping up uh, up against this 50 MA a lot, but I think it's different this time. Bear in mind the strength of that Dow. Um, stochastics is nice and open. 
RSI is just a mugged midline. It is a risk. You know, it, every trade is a risk. We're only talking probabilities here, not certainties. You have to go in this with your eyes open on the basis of all these knocks we've had on the 50 MA. But uh, I think this time we were just on this trend line here coming across the highs. And there's a decent chance that we could break up there to 158. So the risk reward ratio is not great. Just a, probably about two to one, so it's not not good. Um, Euro closed above the eight. First time it's closed above the eight for quite some time. So this hammer-like bar I talked about in the previous video is kicking in. Uh, I think we can get up to 132, 133, but I wouldn't. You could trade it if you put an order in a book for uh, just above 130. The stop is going to have to be 100 points to see if you can get uh, 250 points to retest the 50 EMA. Aussie dollar has been storming away. Why does this chart do this? So I've got this one already marked. That's the entry level, uh, which is. 1028.10 the stop can be pretty close 1018.75 to see if we can get up to this level here it's a very and that has engulfed a lot of price action okay if you don't get filled there then leave it Okay, so that's all I've got for you. Look forward to seeing you in the room tomorrow and um, see the next update. Uh, all feedback is extremely welcome and I, in fact I would encourage it. Alright, so thank you very much and uh, let's see if we can uh, see some continuation and follow through from this uh, fantastic first day of trading for 2012. Okay, see you, see you soon.